Sideline Sato here, ready to bring you my predicted lineups and score prediction for the Chelsea versus Liverpool EFL Cup final. Also known as the Carabao Cup, I will be live for this match, hosting a watch along, so feel free to drop by if you so please. And let's get right into things. If you're new, consider subscribing. And let's look at Chelsea to start, because Chelsea have had a bit of a mixed bag with their last five results. A 4-1 loss to Liverpool at Anfield, a 4-2 loss to Wolves at Stamford Bridge, and then they beat Aston Villa in the FA Cup, 3-1. They beat Crystal Palace at Selhurst Park, 3-1. And most recently, they held Manchester City to a one-all draw at the Etihad. Impressive feat for Maurizio Pochettino's men, but there is an air of restlessness at Chelsea. I've talked to Chelsea fans who don't love Pochettino. Actually, I think they hate him. And it seems like there's this underlying toxicity, but it's a cup final. Anything can happen. You know, I honestly think that Chelsea are a threat. I think that this predicted lineup I'll pose for them kind of explains it to a good degree. So, their predicted lineup for me, according to you know the recent lineups, the injury situation, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I've also consulted a Chelsea fan on this, so I think this might be pretty close to spot on. Uh, so in goal you have Petrovic. So it's a 4-2-3-1. So the back line would be Ben Chilwell at left back, their captain, Levi Colwell at left center back, Axel de Sassi at right center back, Malo Gusto at right back, Enzo Fernandez and Moise Caicedo in a double pivot. Raheem Sterling on the left, Connor Gallagher through the middle, Cole Palmer on the right, and up top will be Nicholas Jackson. That's my predicted lineup. Let me know what you think. Chelsea fans, let me know what you think. Liverpool fans, I think that, you know, it's not a bad squad, really. It gets a lot of heckling, but there's moments where Chelsea does click, and that's kind of what has me scared. Most primarily, I would say, is Cole Palmer, but... Sterling is a player who gets a lot of slander. He's a top class player. Chelsea fans don't really love him. Some of them do, some of them don't. He splits the fan base, I think. But he's still a player who shows up in big matches, can score a goal. He's he's honestly a threat. And against Liverpool, I would imagine he'd be playing a bit of a you know chip on his shoulder, one would assume. Uh, other players to look out for, I think Petrovic has been pretty fantastic. Sanchez is still out, so I think he should probably have that spot all to himself and he's impressed me in the moments I've seen him play. Uh, Gusto I think has been kind of impressive filling in for Reese James as well um, and the big thing here I think besides all of that is the exclusion of Thiago Silva. Um, I think Thiago Silva while he is arguably the best center back of his generation or one of the best if he isn't, um, he's, he's getting up there in age and his legs just aren't kind of serving him well anymore. So that's my predicted lineup for Chelsea. Now let's look at Liverpool's run in of form going into this match. They obviously had the 4 1 win at Anfield against Chelsea, then a 3 1 loss where Konate was sent off at the Emirates. Yeah, at the Emirates against Arsenal. Liverpool then went and hosted Burnley at Anfield 1 3 1, traveled to the G Tech Community Stadium beat Brentford 4-1 and then had a very very emphatic 4-1 win at Anfield against mighty Luton Town. Luton Town by the way what a team but also a bit of a mixed bag conceded one goal in all the, the last five matches and conceded two goals before that so you can expect Chelsea to get on the score sheet here especially considering that this is the lineup I'm going for. Now this isn't a jab necessarily at the back line. I just think we gotta speak facts, right? Kautler, this is his competition. He starts in the Cups, he starts in the Europa League. Even with Allison Becker, it, I think Kautler A, deserves, and B, would start in, uh, you know, Carabao Cup Final or EFL Cup Final. So, easy money there. Left back, I think Andy Robertson, you know, he's finally getting back to fitness. He's been on the bench a bit. He's come off the bench a bit. And I think, you know, I think this is definitely the first kind of great match to put him into. And I think he's kind of gotten some rhythms. Maybe Gomez starts at left back, but we'll see. Uh, left center back, Virgil van Dijk, the captain. 
Ibrahimo Konate at right center back and Connor Bradley at right back. My God, what a player Connor Bradley is turning out to be. He, you know, he got a goal and assist, or was a goal and two assists against Chelsea uh, when they last faced at uh, Anfield at the end of January. He's been brilliant, Connor Bradley, and I'm just excited to see him get this run in the team. Midfield three of Wataru Endo, Ryan Gravenberg, and Alexis McAllister. This is a 4-3-3, obviously, patented kind of Jurgen Klopp lineup. And then the front three have gone for Luis Diaz, Cody Gakpo, Harvey Elliott. For big players to watch out for, I think Alexis McAllister and Wataru Endo are going to do bits. Um, they've been doing bits all season. I I, I'm very excited, honestly, to see them play. McAllister's been sublime. He got two assists against Luton. Uh, Konate, I think there's an argument to be made that maybe Kwanzaa gets to start, but I think Konate is fit. He was on the bench against Luton. He just didn't come on. Um, Konate will play a big, big, big part because he's going to have to fill in there for Connor Bradley when Connor Bradley is jetting forward because he does like to get forward as well. And besides that, I'd say Cueven Kelleher. Um, you know, we might see Darwin Nunez and Salah start. There's been no update, according to Jurgen Klopp, on the situation for their injuries. So to me, I'm just going to assume that they're going to be on the bench if they are fit, or they won't be fit. Uh, I don't think they're going to start. I don't think Klopp would take that kind of risk. But final score prediction. <sighs> I'm feeling like a two-all draw. Honestly, two all draw going to penalties. Liverpool winning on penalties after like 13 shots of the ball to 12, you know, at the penalty spot. So I think it'll be a two all draw, 13 to 12 on penalties. I have a feeling it's going to go to pens. I can feel it coursing through my veins that this match will go to penalties. I will be shocked if this match doesn't go to penalties, honestly. Um, and I have faith in Liverpool to win, but, you know, you got to look at all the circumstances. You got to look at the fact that. This is a squad that is lacking Salah, it's lacking Jota, it's lacking Jones, it's doing all that. But obviously, beyond all that, there's a bunch of youngsters who I think can really impress a lot of people on the national stage. I mean, uh, Bobby Clark, you have McConnell, James McConnell, what a player. Uh, Kwanzaa, obviously, I don't think he'll start, but he's been great. Bradley's there. Uh, and then uh, Dan's, who got a very very nice cameo in that Luton match where he passed to I believe I forget who he passed to but he pa he passed to a player who assisted the fourth goal so it was absolutely brilliant Liverpool's AXA Academy is really coming too and yeah that's all I have for you let me know your predictions in the comments below subscribe if you're new like the video as well if you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching I'm Sideline Sato see you at the Carabao Cup final watch along or EFL Cup final watch along however you decide to call it See you in the watch along Sunday if you decide to stop by. I'm Silent Sato. Peace.